What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Auto Heroes, and today, I got the squinty eyes today because uh, I got some stupid idea that we're about to try to do. So because we have this treasure trade, you know that we have a ton of baseline stats, and I want to see what we can do with a little bit of a cheese team that we got going on right here. Yes, these are level 100 five-star Patricias, and we got six of them in here couple of them with antlers canes and a couple of them with demon bells so we're gonna see how this turns out in broken spaces and i have one little goal to see if we can accomplish can we do all of broken spaces in 711 tickets all the way through stage 11 don't know if it's gonna be possible we are sure as heck gonna give it a try though we are not using any of the good heroes like <laughs> aspen freya none of that nonsense we are going 100 with this team number one in combination wow that's that's a lot of damage right there but um uh <laughs> it's I, I should I should look at something before we do this with how shockingly high that damage is. Uh, let's take a look at one of our heroes real quick. So essentially, they are running 8.2 million attack, which is probably more than a lot of people's accounts have right now. Uh, HP wise, they're pretty close to a billion. Uh, you can see just baseline, they have 130% precision with the antlers cane. We have a lot of armor break, crit damage, holy damage. A lot of these other stats just naturally from our treasure train, which is interesting to say the least. I guess what we should also do is we should jump in here and we should just like unlock all of their stones real quick. If we do that, it might give us a little extra attack. <laughs> Not a lot, but some. There we go. So some of them might have hit attack. Some of them might have hit HP. Uh, I don't know if it updates in here. Yes, it does. So we'll just save it just in case. Again, we don't have balance strike. We don't have any of these things because they are just five star heroes. But I want to see how far we can take this. Now, the first bunches should be extremely, extremely easy to get done. Uh, you can see all these extra pings here going all over the place. And this is part of the reason why this might work is because the insane amount of attack reduction stacks that you're going to see getting applied to these enemies and the fact that we have demon bell with some antlers canes means at least we'll have ramping damage as well and we'll be able to see how far we can take it now are we going to watch all these battles absolutely not because once they get to some a little bit crowd controlling ones they might be a little annoying uh but we'll take a look at least of one battle and then see how we're doing skip ahead and see how we out so yeah not too bad <laughs> these extra attacks also heal us you can see we're healing for like one two million one two million one two million uh when we get our actual like big attacks off it's like 30 million plus healing so hp wise we have a ton of survivability you see we're up to 10 11 stacks on both of these targets that's basically to the point where when we do finally get hit if ever which I think we're going to get hit one time. You'll notice we only take probably one point of damage. Yep, we take one point of damage from all those applications, and that is it. So survivability for this type of setup is here. Uh, let's see if just one ticket is enough to get our damage in here on the Gru wave because the Grus have counterattacks and everything. That would be painful to watch. Let's just try to smash through some of these other ones here, see if one ticket is enough, and it looks like it is pretty easily overall now the next one we're gonna watch is the former hardest difficulty broken spaces Evan. long time ago this was the hardest content uh now with ada's marks going out and such this could become an issue with us using active skills and taking damage uh the other thing is ada will slowly reduce the healing mercy but the fact that i'm seeing their hp bar already moving in round one and we're only halfway through the first rounds actives uh it's looking pretty good got the actives from the antlers cane one as well it's just so many pings even if we do take damage i feel like we will be okay even against the russell drake wave or no yeah i think we'll be okay you see this is just round one damage on our account and we're already doing this much now we are gonna have to take damage right here but we're basically taking one point of damage from the ada the aspen did about 25 million in damage against us but when we have 800 plus million hp 
25 million is next to nothing and it's just a drop in the bucket so this probably cleared out in one attempt yet looks like it uh and honestly the antlers cane targets are not doing crazy high damage either what we could do is we could chuck a couple mirrors on this give us overall more damage but still kind of cool to see now this one could become a little bit of a problem for two reasons number one carry well she can dodge her attack since we're not using her drake uh number two carry energy drains and number three tara can seal off our passives which would not allow us to do a lot of what you're seeing right here uh, honestly though i think we're going to be in an okay state overall i don't think this is going to be an issue i do want to watch and see what happens at the end of round one uh, I just don't think we're going to be able to get this in one ticket. We're doing a lot of damage with these hits. The, every one of these pings is 17 million. The active skill hits four. Let's see, 160 million on the high end. So let's see what happens when the enemy uses their attack. It's going to mess up our energy feed. But basic attacks are almost as good as active skills with this hero. It's not the worst case. In scenario and yeah like we will feed energy around let's see how much damage we take on this bottom target here that has the so she loses energy she really doesn't take any damage so that that's pretty good damage wise that's still actually pretty solid that is 10 percent let's see if we can do it with nine more hits right here we can perfect on to this wave this is the one that's questionable because of course Drake removes all of your defensive abilities. That means we don't have that like high block chance. I think we had natively had like 91% block chance. Uh, but what we will be able to apply, hopefully, is a ton of attack reductions so that they don't get to do a lot of things to us. See here, it starts stacking up because we're using that attack on a target that doesn't have the butterfly. Uh, it's not kind of working great for us right now. We need to get some of those stacks on the Russell ASAP, please. Oh my gosh, if we don't get it on the Russell. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go, good. We're building up the stacks. We remove the butterfly, which allows all these little extra hits to apply it here too, which is good. Yeah, so let's see what the incoming damage is. Again, I don't think survivability is going to be the issue at all here, but we're gonna wait and see what Russell does in the air. As long as we can keep those attack reduction stacks up, this will be pretty funny. What do we use so far? We've used 10, we've used 17, I think. Yeah, that damage was pretty much nothing. So that is good to see. Really solid damage too, compared to uh, teams usually dying off pretty easily here. We did 15% with these Patricias. Not bad. I think we started with, let me go back and look real quick. We started with 711. So that is a good checkpoint to use here. Uh, let's just keep smashing our way through here we get through that one pretty easy so so far getting through stage nine which again used to be the previous end of this uh we've only spent 13 23 24 24 if my math checks out which i don't trust it's a lot of times when i'm recording 24 so far that's actually pretty solid now this could get a little sketchy let's see what happens here because we need to get those attack debuffs up immediately if they both have that butterfly over their head when we do all these extra passive attacks we won't stack it up and we need to get it stacked up immediately granted it's nice because we have six different chances for this year we really need to have that butterfly drop off of the gloria Ooh, this is where the rng comes in we need this last one to take it off nope that's really bad so gloria is basically going to do her full damage which might be enough to completely nuke us down even though yeah <laughs> so there is going to be some rng involved here it looks like so let's let's jump back into this damage one more time i don't know if this is going to be possible they might just have too much damage capability for it to work on us but again oh perfect the first one we immediately get stacks built up so we're in the clear. We at least got like six-ish stacks on both of them. Perfect. We're going to get both of them up to like 10 plus it looks like. Yep. We got both of them up to 10. Let's see what the incoming damage looks like even with 10 of those debuffs. 
Now I think I think these enemies might purify at the end of round, which is the downside because we have to pull make it happen every single time. But if we can survive the first round and we can keep those damage debuffs up, that is pretty key here. So we got the last active right here, keeping both of them at 10 and 11 stacks. Very important. Let's see what the damage looks like incoming after this last one here. So it is some damage, but it's not like significant. So we know it can work and we can survive. And that was a much, much better hit right there. Much better hit. Good to see it. However, I don't know if it's enough to actually get this done. You know what? I'm going to do 600 just in case <laughs> something does not go right here. Uh, let's see what happens with this squad. Oh, that is a lot of thinking by the game. <laughs> what is it going to do? Uh, did I crash the game with all the attempts? I don't know. <laughs> I might have crashed the game with how many attempts it is. Did we beat it? Did not with 600. Oh, it's not even close though. The surprising thing is she can survive. The downside is, uh, yeah, 10 and 11 is not going to happen. That is absolutely not going to be possible. And that's why I didn't want to throw all of them in there just so I have enough to finish this out this week. So as much as the cheese is fun up to a certain point with our treasure train, there is a limit to the shenanigans that we can do. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. If you want to see any other fun combinations, let me know. We might try this out in our Star Arena shenanigans this month as well. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.